Paul, it was, uh, as we saw, always going to be a, a big act. Yeah, I, I think if you break the game down and you see what we did well and what we did not so well, I thought the two halves probably reflect that in the first half. Wes had one save to make, really poor goal on our behalf. And we're going one nil down with Wes only having one save to make. We we were organised, we broke well. Um, but the second half, again, really poor goals that we concede. But the fact that we conceded uh, as many as we did, it, I thought as Arsenal up the, up the pace and we, we know they've got good technical quality. And as you say, we were prepared for time without the ball and to be able to suffer and, and make sure that we could then pose a threat. However, in the second half, when they up the pace, they were more aggressive and I thought they outfought us as well in the second half. And uh, that's something that, that we have to be clear on. Yes, we're missing big characters, big personalities with a lot of physical presence. They're the boys that we're missing. But um, the boys who are coming into the team, the boys who want to place in the team, the boys who are in the team need to understand how important that part of the game is. It's uh, that, that bit will never change. It'll never change. And... No one's going to feel sorry for us. Everyone's going to be fighting for the three points for their own reasons. And, um, yeah, a lot of people, we have to learn that quickly. It was, uh, in terms of discipline and shape, you'd been fairly comfortable to start with, but every time you did get in those positions where there was a possibility to launch a counter-attack from, that the quality was just on the ball was just not there. Yeah, se second half, yeah. First half, like I said, we had the moments, the final pass little moments um, and, and listen and we know there's a difference we know the difference in that but uh, like I said the, the bigger concern for me the bigger thing I think we need to to understand is how these teams get to the top and, and why they stay at the top for me yes good players but there's a real edge to them as well um, and that's the difference between the between the top players um, there's no shortage of effort from the players Shortage of quality, understandably, between the two and the goal. But the one thing that you, you'll feel that there's not been is a shortage of effort. You... Yeah, I'll see it. Listen, I'll see the running. I, like I say, I'll see the running. But I also see key moments. Listen, the goals are really poor. Uh, poor decisions. Poor moments of quality. When I mentioned the physicality, obviously set plays are a big part of that as well. And you could see the, the physical size of Arsenal against us. That's an issue for us. We know that. We understand that. But you've got to stand up for it. You have to. So, yeah, the, the physical data will be there. I know it will be there, but those moments in contact, those moments in duels, those, those 1v1 moments, they were better than us. And there's no question whatsoever that we've seen all season that that dressing room is 100% playing for you and playing for the club and, and giving everything. Listen, the players are great. But I think we've... I've been really clear on this, that... Uh, they know they're going to get everything from me. And one of the things we have to maintain is, is a positivity. We, our season is not going to be defined by our trip to the Emirates. We, we're not prepared for that. Um, we've played <clears throat> six of the top nine, is it? Seven of the top yeah. ten, whatever it is. Now we're coming into a little spell where we're playing a lot of the teams in around us. And uh, these are big moments. These are big moments. And regardless of what we've got missing, regardless of... Um, Personnel we've got, how many bodies we've got available to us. These are the games we've got to really attack. And you'll want the opportunity to have a go at those things. Yeah, listen, listen, I've seen the noise. You lot have, uh, I, I think you know more than anyone, Nath, how many times I've sat in front of you regarding being the voice or the face of the club about difficult situations, whether it's been talk of admin, talk of transfer embargoes, you know, things like that, selling play, whatever, whatever's been, I've, I've spoke as much as I possibly can and we've we've always been positive about it and fought our way through it and this will be exactly the same. Unfortunately for you guys, these sort of situations, I'm the one who probably is not the best person to be talking about it, you know, but you do know that I'll continue to do my best, I'll continue to fight for this team, and these players and this club um, and anyone knows me knows that as well. All the noise, everything people say, whether there's anything in it or not, who knows? But um, as far as I'm concerned, as far as me doing my job, I've just got to ignore it.